He's very, very opinionated, and he is all yours. Coming to you live, I'm Lauren Shahadi. This is Doyle Rules on the other line. Greg Doyle, our national columnist. Greg, how are you? I'm good, but I'm, I'm not theirs. I don't even know who they are. You're there, as in present. <laughs> that, that should be debatable, though. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You don't take any grief from anyone. You know who else doesn't? Jim Calhoun. We've all heard the rants. Now the governor is criticizing him. Are you criticizing him? No, not at all. And Calhoun and I have a, a small little history. I seem to have a history with almost everybody, but <laughs> he and I have butted heads, and it was kind of ugly about three years ago. So anyway, my point is that I'm not a Calhoun guy. I've never been a Calhoun guy, and anybody who knows anything about Calhoun and me knows that. However, he's done nothing wrong here. He's, he doesn't have to apologize for making his money, and he doesn't have to apologize for blowing up the idiot who asked him the wrong question at the wrong time. Well, he's interested in the upcoming games. That's what he says he wants to focus on. Doesn't she know that March Madness is coming up? You know, it's madness in Detroit right now. Seven straight losses, the longest slide in seven years, and you are not a fan of Allen Iverson. Tell me why. Yeah, for all his talent, he's clearly one of the more talented players we've ever seen in, in pro basketball, but he's also, uh, unfortunately, one of the bigger losers we've ever seen in professional basketball. Everywhere he goes, with the exception of that 76ers team six years ago. He got them ago. to the finals. Right, you're right. He got them there one time, which, which is really a fly in the ointment of my take here, because except for that <laughs> one year, he's engineered losing season after losing season for everybody, and now he, he has single-handedly taken the Pistons from being an Eastern Conference favorite to a team struggling now to get into the playoffs. But you can't say he loses every time because that's not true. No, but he loses for all of his talent. Usually if you're a great player, you make those around you better, especially if you play a position like he does where you've got the ball in your hands. Great players tend to make players around them better. He is a great player who has made his teams worse, and what's happening with the Pistons is, is a clear sign of that. What a seamless transition now into Stephon Marbury. No longer getting paid 20 mil to sit the bench, but he does make cheap shoes, Greg. Yeah, he's a conundrum to me um, because he's a guy that did do the right thing, really, by designing these $15 shoes, unless they fall apart on people's feet, and then that's not good at all. But he went out of his way to make, make a, an affordable fashion thing for, for kids, and, and so I want to like him for that. And yet he's such a poison in the locker room that the Knicks decided, even though you're the most talented player on this roster, you, we're going to give you $20 million this year to not play, and now they're just giving him some money just to go away. So he's, his legacy is very much up in the air, but it's not looking good. $15 shoes, though, Greg. Let's focus on that. I know. How bad are those shoes, though? I, I don't want to find out. Do you have after a pair? Him, I, I have no, are you kidding me? Starberry shoes? <laughs> I don't think so. I know you do. You have them in a couple of different colors, but that's neither here nor there. I gave okay. up for Lint. Another athlete parting ways is Marvin Harrison. And, you know, Greg, I've watched him for so many years, and I tell me if you're in the same boat. I don't really know what to make of him. He's been a complete mystery. Um, he, he's For the most of his career, he's been seen as the anti-wide receiver diva. He's not Ocho Cinco or T.O. or any of those idiots out there. He, he's quiet and does his job and all that. But then it turns out that he's accused by – by the victim of shooting him in Philadelphia, I believe it was about a year ago. And since then, different stories have come out about Marvin Harrison, that maybe he's not quiet because he's a good guy. Maybe he's kind of quiet because he's a sinister guy. And we really don't know the answer to that either. So his, his legacy, much like Starberry's, is right now kind of a mystery. But that is an accusation. It's not a fact. That's all it is, and you're innocent until proven guilty. Uh, but, the, but the point remains, he was carrying around some just nickel-plated death machine of a gun, and why do you need that? And I'm sure his apologist would say, well, a famous athlete needs to protect himself. Well, sure he does, but, it, but do you walk around with a rattlesnake in your back pocket and, and, and then say, well, I need to protect myself, so I don't care if my snake kills people? No, there's, there's, there's levels of, of how far you go, and I think he's gone a little bit too far. A <laughs> rattlesnake, you've gone too far. Peyton Manning <laughs> says that he's definitely going to miss him, as will many Colts fans. When in doubt of new topics, though, let's talk about steroids in baseball. Greg, the commissioner is not at fault. Tell me why. Because he actually tried to get steroid testing started as long ago as 1995, uh, but it didn't work out. But the union, the union, really, if we're going to blame somebody, let's blame Donald Fear and his baseball union. They refused to, to go along with this. And back then, baseball was just coming off the strike, and they'd canceled the 1994 World Series. And yeah, Bud Selig could have been the guy saying, we've got to start testing, and he could have taken his case to the public, to the media, and really buried his sport. 
and how small would that have been in 19, say, 96 or 7, to bury your sport and say, all these guys are on steroids, we've got to clean it up right now on the heels of the labor stoppage of 94, that might have killed his sport. So to go back and say he should have fixed this in the mid-1990s, I'm not sure baseball could have handled him fixing this in the mid-1990s. You know, Greg, you're a high-profile writer. You should get a rattlesnake to carry around with you. I should probably get a raise. Apparently my profile is higher than I thought. <laughs> Apparently not. For Greg Doyle, I'm Lauren Shahadi.